Hello, hi, hello. Welcome back to my city life. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, it's been a minute since I've had a video on this channel. I don't um, do a lot of videos on this channel. Um, and I say this channel because I have two channels. I have this channel um, where I used to um, talk about my home buying journey and my budget journeys and those things. And then I have another channel where I share my hobby. The other channel is called KC Joy. I'll put it down in the box if I remember. I am much more active over there. So if you want to follow me over there and um, that channel, I do doll hauls, reviews, um, the thing is, it's called Casey's Joy, where I make videos about dolls, dolly things, and miniature things that bring me joy. So, that is my other channel, Casey's Joy. This channel is, um, kind of my city life, where everything else other than, um, dolls and toys and things like that. So, this video here, I have a package, and I'm so excited about this package. And at first I wasn't going to share it, but then I decided I really am going to share it, share this with you because maybe someone else, maybe it might help someone else who was in the same position I was in. So I am six foot one um, and I weigh over 300 pounds. I don't think I am at 400 pounds yet, but I am still over 300 pounds. I haven't weighed myself in a while. I've been living life and um, managing. Um, you know, I've changed my eating habits a little bit, but I am not focused on any way sort of weight loss. Um, I'm focused on being healthy and being around here as long as Hashem allows me to be around here and to be the best human being that I can be. With that being said, I wear a size 13 shoe, and it's normally 13 wide or double wide, depending on how the shoe is made. So all my life, I've had big feet. All my life, I've been tall. <laughs> and um, all my life, I have been um, large, plus size, fat, whatever adjective you choose to put on it. Um, and so the struggle has always been to find shoes that are cute, um, that fit me. And it's, it's literally a struggle because the shoes that are cute, that are um, feminine looking, normally don't come in my size. Um, I don't wear heels. I've never been big on wearing heels, even when I was younger, when I did wear heels, I didn't wear, I wore platforms. So I know platforms are still heels, so I wore platforms. And on special occasions, I will pull out a pair of platforms and wear platforms, but I am really, a, I wear flats most of the time. I used to be a tennis shoe person because that was the only thing, honestly, I could find in my size and that I could afford. Um, I've gone, I've, been low income, um, I guess what would be considered poor, uh, poor to low income um, to low middle class. And now I think I'm a homeowner, so it kind of till it's like, oh, you're middle class, middle class now, um, which just means you have a little bit more discretionary money, which I am so thankful for. Um, so thankful for it. There have been years where I've gone without buying myself new shoes. And all of this is leading up to the purchase. I'm sure you've seen in the title what the purchase is, but all of this is leading up to me showing you my purchase. So yeah, there have been years where I was not able to buy myself some shoes. I had children, so I took care of my children and made sure I was able to buy them shoes and to do for them and to provide for them. And now I am in a position where one, um, 
The majority of my children are adults now. I have one minor left, my son, who is a young adult. He still lives with me, but he has a job. So um, my financial responsibility is no longer mostly for the children. It's mostly for um, myself and to keep this house for all of us. Um, and I have one young, one minor daughter. So I am in a position now where I can buy um, shoes that may be more expensive and um, be okay. Like I didn't have to rob Peter to buy these shoes. <laughs> and I laugh at that because my daughter's father name is Peter. So I definitely didn't rob him because he couldn't buy these shoes for me. But <laughs> anyway, these, um, so yeah, I have two pairs. I did splurge. And, um, you know, I made adjustments in the budget because what I did was, one, I had been reading, I have read so many reviews about Rossi and there's another shoe company that starts with a T. I think it's Teeks. I'm not quite sure if that's the way you pronounce it, but I have been reading both of them for years. I have been looking at both of those shoes. I know I graduated in 2020. You will hear my son in the background. My son is just loud. Please try to ignore it and focus on just me. Um, <laughs> I graduated university in 2020 in the midst of COVID. Um, when I graduated, I got a job in the, um, I graduated with a degree in elementary education. I got a job at the school that I was doing my student teaching at. I started looking at both of these shoes during that time. Both Teeks and Rothy's were outside of my budget during that time. But I have been looking at them since then. Um, with Rothy's though, they kept, I kept getting that, oh, you have to size up, you have to size up. Well, they didn't have my size. Um, at first, they didn't have my size. When I first started looking at them, they didn't have my size at all. And then, um, and I, I, you know, I was like, oh, okay. And then when they started having my size, I kept reading the reviews and saying, oh, you have to size up, you have to size up. So again, I was like, dang, I can't get these shoes. And then I was reading reviews about Teeks and Teeks, a lot of the reviews I read weren't the great greatest. So I tried to find some flats that were like in my size and maybe less expensive. I found one company that had flats in beautiful colors, all range of sizes and everything. They didn't go up to a 13. But the lady was like, oh, you can get a 12 and it will stretch. It will mold to your feet. Um, most people size down. So yeah, you get a 12, it should work out. I bought the 12s. And no, it did not work out. I bought two pair. I tried twice because I was like, maybe it's the material. They got different kind of materials. The first pair I ended up giving to my daughter. Um, the second pair are down there. I am going to donate to the thrift store because they're a size 12. And I wore them and I put stretchers in them. You know, you buy the shoe stretchers or whatever. I did all of that. And they still hurt. I wore them to work by the time I wore them to work. My feet were hurting. I would take off my shoes while I was in my office just because my feet was hurting so bad. I was like, I'm not going to do this no more. So during all this time, so again, started in 2020 looking at these shoes and during all this time, I'm just like, oh, okay. So I go on the website, Rothy's website, and I see they do have some 13s. And for you know, whatever reason, I was like, there's a store here in the city where I live in. We have an area of our city called Georgetown. There's a Rothy store in Georgetown. So I was like, I'm going to go and I'm going to try them on just so that I can know they don't fit me so I can get this out of my head. I went to the store. The customer service there was awesome. The young lady that was working with me, she was so nice and so sweet. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. I just, 
I gotta find out if they sent me, do you have the 13s in these styles? And she brought the styles out to me. She was like, sure, sure. Um, and then she brought, she was like, let me bring out just the black ones so you can try them on and see if they fit over whatever. So, and I tried them on my larger foot. So one of my feet is larger than the other one because I broke my ankle on this side. And that foot has now been larger and that ankle was large. So when I talk about I have big feet, some people be like, oh, I have big feet. No, I have size 13 feet. And then on top of that one foot and ankle is large. It's when I say I am not exaggerating, it's this large. And my other ankle is about my other ankle is maybe about that large. The other ankle is about that large. So that that's that's the body I'm working with. I'm learning to love my body and just this is the body I have to work with what I have. And I thank God that my body still works. I can walk on it. It just looks funny. <laughs> to me. Most people don't pay attention. They just be like, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. But I know because it happened to me. So I remember before and now literally I'm seeing before on this side and after on this side. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing to me. Um, I can laugh at it now. At first I could. So I tried on the first shoe and I was like, oh my God, my foot went in it because I tried it on the big foot. I was like, my foot went in the shoe and uh, the girl looked at me, the sales lady, she just smiled and I was like, you don't, you don't understand. I am utterly shocked that my foot is in the shoe right now. Like, I can hardly contain myself. And she was like, it's okay, you gotta take the wins where you get them. Absolutely, that was a win. And then, the, when she brought out the one that was like, um, the almond loafer, because I heard that was the biggest one. And she, um, brought out, um, I asked for a Mary Jane. They didn't have any Mary Janes in the store for me to try on, but she was like, oh, we don't have any Mary Janes, but here's a point, I think, point. Um, it fits the exact same way. It's the same shape. It fits the exact same way. And I was like, oh, I don't think I can fit the point because, you know, everybody says you got to size up. Even the website says you got to size up. So I put the point on. Y'all, my foot got in it. I stood up. I was like, nah, this um, this ain't right. I stood up and I moved around and it was fine. I was so, oh my goodness. I was like, oh my God. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh my goodness. And she was so happy for me. I really appreciated her because she was happy for me. She felt my joy. So she was like, oh. See, you just you came in here, you did it, you know, oh yeah. I was like, okay. So now I'm just thinking, oh, what she want me to get? What she want me to get? So she was like, yeah, we don't have it in here, but we can order it, and it's free shipping. And she was just talking to me, and I was just like smiling, like this smile. It, I was smiling ear to ear, and that's part of the reason I am really sharing this because one i'm in a position in my life right now where i can afford this shoe is a luxury for me and i got two of them <laughs> and having it happen at this point in my life where i'm finally in a position to be me kind of be who i am learn who i am and be able to afford certain things and still be able to pay bills that's everything to me and so I just, I just, I felt like I needed to share because I kept saying, oh no, I don't need to share this. Everything don't need to be content. I just need to go on, take the shoes and take my win and keep it moving. I, I really had to share this. So I went with two um, colors and styles that weren't practical. These, these colors are not practical but I have them in my closet and they're gonna make me smile. These shoes are gonna bring me joy. So I'm gonna open them up and share them with you. And then um, I may do like tomorrow morning. One of them I'm wearing tomorrow. So I may get some footage of them on my 
feet and that way you can see um my foot and my ankle because this this leg on this side it's probably opposite for you or whatever but this foot on this side always looks swollen even if it's not like people's like is your foot okay are you okay yes my foot is okay i'm walking it just always looks swollen and please y'all don't put any um medical advice in the comments i appreciate the love and the thoughts but it's okay this is my body i love me and i'm I'm really loving being able to clothe me in the way that I want to in my mind. So let me show you. Now, this is my first, um, well, I think, oh, okay. They didn't tape it down. I was like, I don't wanna rip the box, but they didn't tape it down. So this one, I uh, hold up. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Maybe I should cover my face and then you'll be able to see it a little bit more. There it is. So this is Lovebird. And this one is the Mary Jane. Mary Jane. And it is white. Black and white. Oh, I love the stretchy. It's this is real stretchy. So this will help with that foot because that's my, my feet are high. So this will help with my foot. But uh, here they are. They're pointy. And they're called Mary Jane. They're Mary Jane's and they're called Songbird. So I love this. Now this one I'm not wearing tomorrow. Um I'm wearing this other one tomorrow. <laughs> but I just wanted to share because I you know it's such a win for me. And I'm so excited about it that I just had to share. So let me show you the other one that I have. <laughs> this one, I'm wearing tomorrow. I'm, um, yeah, I'm wearing this one tomorrow. <laughs> it is so pretty. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, so I already told y'all at the beginning of this thing that I have another channel that's about dolls and dog collection. So I'm a Barbie girl. So for me to be able to go in there and get this shoe in this Barbie color, this is one of the Barbie colors I like. Like Barbie has a lot of different pinks. I'm not, um, I don't like the really, really light baby pink or whatever they call that. Really, really light pink. This is more of my speed. This is like magenta, this dark hot pink or Barbie pink. But, so here's the bottom of the shoes. And now, um, someone said it was tortoise shell. That is so nice. Um, this doesn't have the, yeah, it doesn't have the animal print in the inside of it. And I think this can come out. I've seen, okay, so yeah. This can come out. And, and there it says, 13, which that's good that it can come out because I'm very used to um, wearing barefoot flat type shoes now. Um, the couple of shoes that I do have, um, I have, I did manage to find one pair of flats that I got from, where I get them flats from? From Soft. Is it soft shoe or soft tee? I think it's soft shoe. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my foot right fast. You're not gonna be able to see it. But I'm gonna put it on my foot real fast so I can be in all and all of that. That is on my foot. And yes, it's on my foot. It does fit. It's the end of the day, so it does feel a little different because when I went, I went in the middle of the day. Although I did a lot of walking. But yeah, it's, and I'm not exactly used to having shoes that are fit, I should say. And these are, they fit me. And did I take the thing out? Let me see, I'm gonna take the thing out of this one. You're not gonna be able to see my feet. But, <laughs> 
I might take a picture of my foot and just show you my foot looking down um, at the end so you can see it at the end because I'm wrapping it up, honestly. I just wanted to put the shoe on. So the first one, I didn't take the thing out, but I took the thing out of this one to try on to put on my fat foot. And you know, this is interesting because this shoe slides on much better on my fat foot than it slides on <laughs> my non-fat foot. That's so weird, but it feels really nice. And, I, and they're pretty. I was so tired of not having pretty. Like when I want to feel pretty. And these shoes in this color, just having them on just now, makes me feel pretty. And it's, and this style too, I like this um, loafer style because it comes up on my foot. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this um, thing. So I just wanted to share, I am going to take a picture and just insert a picture of my feet so you can see um, the shoes on my foot right fast. And I thank you for watching. <laughs> I truly appreciate um, you watching and listening to my my foot struggle. So now I know that I can wear these, that they will fit my feet. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about and possibly, now I don't know if I'm gonna become the Rothy girl or the Rothy person. Again, these are a luxury, they're, they're expensive. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Like if you see me with more Rothy's, <laughs> it'll be like coming back three, four months later and be like, hey, I got a new pair then. I guess we know. <laughs> yeah. I will see you again really, really soon. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna see you again really, really soon, but we'll see what happens. See you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. Or go check out my other channel where I'm on there like two, three times a week. All right.